Wow, you guys must have both. I mean, it doesn't surprise me about no one else. He's a fucking, you know, he just wants to be popular. He's absolutely right. You know, ladies and gentlemen, he is absolutely right. And I do indeed try to make videos to be popular. That's why in this video, we are going to bring back a time under honored classic that is guaranteed to generate a million views on this video. We're going to talk about vigor math. Yep. After a two year long hiatus, we are back and we are going to talk about healing vigor and radiating regeneration in the elder scrolls online i have talked about this a little bit wanted to do a full video for you guys kind of wanted to show you guys my point of view and where i'm coming from and why i think some adjustments need to be made and so uh we're looking at the base levels of these characters and there's there's going to be a lot of nuance to this so uh please try and watch the whole video and hopefully uh it'll answer most of your questions before you ask them but we're not really wearing any gear uh, we're looking at the base levels. I just have a staff on the back bar, which is a restoration staff of agility that's giving us more max stamina. Our stats are going to scale more off our max, uh, off our stamina bar because we have the same amount of spell and weapon damage, but we have more max stamina. And so that's going to buff our stats. All these skills are supposed to scale with your higher, higher uh, resource pool, so it shouldn't really matter. But just so you know, we are scaling off of stamina. So... We've talked, we're putting no points into here. We have no Munda stone, uh, not no vampire, no no food, nothing. We're just we're just comparing the base levels of these abilities. And yeah, wanted to kind of show the differences in what I'm talking about. So the first skill, we have radiating regenerate, we have regeneration. And so this is the base morph and 11,904 health over 10 seconds. If we go in, we have rapid regeneration. 11,910 health over 5 seconds, or 11,910 health over 10 seconds. This one heals one person. Uh, it's a little bit burstier. There's no guarantee it goes to you. Uh, so oftentimes this is the lesser used morph because you can't always guarantee that it lands on your character. It makes it a little frustrating to use for some people. So more often than not, most people that are running a resto staff back bar are going to radiating regeneration. Unless you can find yourself in some way, like more often solo by yourself and not really around a ton of people, rapid regenerate, like radiating regeneration is typically the go-to play. So if we look at our stats here, we've got 12,300 over 10 seconds. Uh, not a big deal. We've got all of our passives in, um, all of our passives across the board. No, nothing to uh, really worry about there, undaunted and all of that. Vigor. Vigor was adjusted two years ago after Elsewhere. Now, there's no surprise, or was that three years ago now? Man, time flies. Um, Elsewhere was a strong patch for stamina specs, stamina Dragonite specifically, because they were stacking Fury and New Moon Acolyte, and they were stacking a ton of spell damage, or just a ton of weapon damage. Uh, if I remember correctly, Fury was giving something like 700 base weapon damage, and New Moon was 480. So they're the two best sets in the game. And basically, Stam DKs were stacking Major Minor Brutality, getting really high weapon damage, and stacking heals in PvP just by having high healing power. You didn't need mitigation, you didn't need, you didn't need tankiness, because your heals were just keeping you alive. Uh, on the other end, in the PvE spectrum, people were finding, at this point, Resolving Vigor was had an AoE. And so Trials people were realizing that you could get Vigor tooltips high enough and because it was AoE, you could stack them all on top of each other. And in some trial for score runs, they were eliminating healers. And so instead of running, well, what's the normal comp? Two tanks, two healers, and the rest DPS. So instead of running eight DPS, they're able to run 10 DPS with two tanks. And so that obviously is a higher damage output. It allowed them to push higher scores. It eliminated a role in an MMO, which is a huge no-no for balance. And so... They adjusted Vigor, and for those of you guys that remember, uh, it used to tick for, what was it, like six or eight seconds? They reduced it to four. They made it more bursty, and now only happens to you. So this burstier skill now only applies to you. You can use the other one, the other morph, 
Uh, you get a 94.55 heal over four seconds by using resolving, or you get 81.66 over eight seconds for echoing. So echoing is a pretty big radius. It's 15 meters. It's pretty wide. Um, so anybody in that area can can stack this. It's not nearly as good. And so uh, you'll often see stand groups running this because it's a little bit it's just better in a group situation. But it's really not that good. It's not that good of a skill. You don't see. I mean, outside of like organized group comp, you don't see very many classes running this. You'll see tanks and PVE and whatnot using this because obviously any hot is better than, than nothing. But more often than not, most people go with Resolving Figure because it heals more over a shorter duration. I think this is pretty clear cut. So you have 97.65 over four seconds versus 12,300 over 10 seconds for Radiating Regeneration. And so if we cast both these skills, Radiant Regeneration heals to three people. And so it can be you and two other people, or it can be three people in total. And so you see 2133 non-crit heals. So keep that in mind, 2133. When we heal with Vigor, Vigor is healing for 2031. And so there's a few things coming into play here. Number one, it's Resto Staff. Because you're using a Restoration Staff ability, you get more healing. I think it's 5%, if I, if I remember correctly. Uh, you get increases healing with restoration staff spells by 5%. And so because of the base amount and because it's a resto staff skill and you kind of have to run this in order to, you have to run a resto staff in order to run a resto staff skill, uh, you get higher ticks with this compared to Vigor. And so uh, I've been talking about this on a few different videos about how um, radiating regeneration is just a better overall skill. And, and this is where I think hey, there's an imbalance from a PvP point of view. Vigor, during Elsewhere, was overtuned. They adjusted it a lot. They reduced the healing amount, they reduced the duration, and they made it single target. And so now you have these two different skills. And if you compare Echoing, Echoing is like 70% of what this is. And it's a big radius and everything, and it's going to hit a lot more people than, than this. But Radiating Regeneration is a smart heal. It, it will just cast. So if you cast twice, it'll cast the people in the area. And this is the issue that you often have in the Elder Scrolls Online when you're playing open world PvP because most Magicka classes, people that know what they're doing, that are running in a group, are going to be running Radiating Regeneration on their back bar. They just are because it also heals, it not only heals you, it heals two other people. And so there is a difference. The other thing I, I, I don't want to be... I don't want to miss anything in this video. Obviously, Vigor ticks faster. It ticks every second, and you get five ticks for this. I think you get seven ticks for Radiating Regeneration, if I remember correctly. Uh, we can count them real quick. So there is a difference because this one's ticking every two seconds or whatever, uh, and the other one's ticking every one second. There is a difference in overall burst, and so in that way, Vigor is better. It, it is better. Uh, overall for that short burst window but when you consider the cost when you consider i i don't want i don't want i want to make sure i'm clear on that it's not just like radiating regeneration is better in every single way possible vigor has some of its bonuses too you don't need to run a rest of staff on the back bar radiating regeneration you do but the fact that you can heal three people with radiating regeneration and it lasts for so long and all of your friends can also run radiating regeneration it creates a very high stack in an imbalance. And when you compare Radiating Regeneration, which is an AoE type of hot to your allies, versus a skill like Echoing Vigor, the AoE hot to your allies for stamina, for, for Vigor, for, for stamina classes traditionally, it's really not close. We're comparing the single target Vigor versus the three person Radiating Regeneration heals of uh of uh radiant regeneration for magicka and they're coming out where it's like okay this is really good and so this has been problematic this entire patch it's been problematic for for multiple patches now with how strong the skill is how cheap it is i mean i'm on a base stamina character and i could cast this what how much how much magicka do i have i want to say i have twelve thousand. 12,700. I mean, I could cast this a lot with just no gear on. Uh, 
And so, and so it's kind of interesting. Whereas with this, I have 15k. I can't cast it nearly as much. And I'm going to have to cast this more. I'm going to have to cast this more in order to keep the duration up longer. And so they're not... It's not an apples to apples comparison. It is, they are different skills, but hopefully I'm showing you here that although his vigor is better for that four second window for one person, the minute you get to a two and three man group, this is just way better. And so when you compare like Magicka classes, like, and you see groups running this and they're all running Radiating Regeneration, because why wouldn't you? Realize next patch, everybody will be running a Resto Staff. If you're in a, any type of group, you should be running Resto Staff back bar. It's not like you can't sustain this skill. It's not like you can't sustain this skill on a Magicka class. I have 600 Magicka recovery. Look how many times I can cast this skill with 12,000 Magicka. You can easily sustain this skill and it's going to heal you and two other allies. And so I keep saying that and I'll, I will stop now, but I'm just trying to be popular. Um, yeah. I think there I think there's a disparity here. I think there's an issue when you're when you compare a single target vigor skill versus the AoE of rating regeneration and you look at it and you're like Wow, that's a lot of healing power for hitting three people. <laughs> like that's a lot. And if you compare uh echoing which heals more, and that's why obviously why it's lower. Like there's just a disparity in what these two things are. And so obviously this is the PTS. This isn't real PVP environment. There's obviously more things to come in mind when you're looking at this. And so I also have some PVP footage from this AAP event. The first fight, and it's not so much about the fight. I'm on a flag uh, fighting with a stamina night blade. I'm running in this, in this fight. I have a defensive set. I have Pariah on. And then I have Clever Alchemist back bar with Vatishran front bar with Balorg. And so when you look at this set, the setup, I have roughly seven fully buffed with Alchemist. You can see when Alchemist procs, um, I have around 7,000 weapon damage. And when Balorg goes off, I have anywhere from seven, a little over 7,000 to 7,500. So that's where i'm at with this specific build i have like 30k stam and i have about 7,000 weapon damage the other build that i'm going to show you is a magic dragon knight and i'm running radiating regeneration i have back bar trickery i have green so the purple my pariah is purple jewelry um uh, on my night blade my dk is green trickery jewelry with low level enchants, not even gold enchants, it's purple. So instead of getting the 174, I have 160 weapon damage. So I have somewhere around 4,500 to, with continuous, 5k spell damage. And so I have about 30,000 magicka. I have about 5,000 spell damage. I also have trickery. And so there'll be times, I, I don't want, uh, I'll keep the fight here so you guys can watch the fight, but look at how much healing I'm giving off with radiating regeneration uh without trickery just going in between in between spots like before the fight even happens look how much healing i have and so uh when you look at these sorts of things we're not even talking about classes like magplar that scale major and minor sorcery and you can get really high weapon and spell damage which makes the disparity for these heals a lot a lot more um that's why this is part of the reason why like when you go and fight some of these groups, they feel like they're immortal because they're stacking so many of these heal over times. Now, I tried to do a podcast earlier this week with Cubican and uh, Steady Eddie, and it didn't record. And it was a good podcast. We were talking about radiating regeneration. And, and long story short, Cubican brought up a good point that the, the fix for a skill like radiating is it should be as powerful as it is. It's fine the way it is. And, and I do agree with this. Just limit the amount of stacks in PvP to two radiating regenerations per person. So if you're playing in a three-man group and all three of you are running radiating, you only get two out of the three of them. And so that way, like 12-man groups can't stack 12 radiatings on people. And that does it, and that'll help mitigate some of the power of the set. It'll still be a powerful heal. Also, from a PvE perspective, you only have two healers in trial situations anyways. In a dungeon, you only have one healer in a trial situation, in a, in a dungeon situation, or 
if you're doing four man group content, you have what you have one healer max. And so this two healer minimum with radiating regeneration has zero impact at all on that environment. And so I think that's the perfect adjustment to start with. You do not adjust this skill. You do not adjust the skills power or capabilities currently. You just make a small incremental change and you put the total amount of hots that you can have from this skill and its morphs to two. That way, you still are buffing your group. You're still amplifying your group with heals. You're still amplifying your group with heal over times and all these other sorts of capabilities, which is great. It's just not compounding on itself in the same way that it currently is, which will be even more dramatic next patch because everybody in a group environment will be shoehorned into running a resto staff back bar because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you for this powerful of a skill? This is one of the strongest skills in the game right now. And so hear what I'm saying. Keep the strength of it the way it is. Allow it to heal three people. Allow it to still do what it does so you can impact your group. Just prevent 12 people from potentially being able to get 12 stacks. That's it. So um, I'm going to stop talking here because I want to be popular and I don't want to talk anymore. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments about this, hopefully I hopefully this made a lot of sense. Hopefully you got to the end of this discussion because I know a lot of the stuff that I said in the in the beginning is going to bring a rise out of people. They're gonna be like, oh my god, this guy hates this, this, and this. If you hear, I, I want to talk about everything and I want to talk about the issue and how it's problematic, and then also bring forward potential solutions because that is the cool thing to do. So no, um, yeah, it's that's what I do. I talk about everything and sometimes people, you know, they don't watch the whole thing and they get upset because they missed part of it and, and whatever. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I've got some footage for you guys. Enjoy and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.